What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back in California still. We're gonna be here for a while. I'd live here if you let me. Oh, dude. <laughs> let's pack up. I'll sell my yeah. house. Let's pack, yeah. where, what, what, where would we live here though? Well, my ex lives here. Could we live with her? We'd live in her garage. Uh, well, is it big enough to work on cars? Yeah, it's a two car garage. So, okay. I'm done. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let me get her on the phone. <laughs> we're going to go live in your ex's garage and, and we're going to buy cars and we're going to just, we're going to wander around this lot every day. This is how I would retire. Oh. Like <laughs> if it was me, I would retire and be in this somewhere in this area where I could come out to this yard every week and just enjoy all of these beautiful cars. Yep. Go check Monkey Wrench Mike out on YouTube, guys. His link is down below and he is, we're, we're, on another adventure another this, <laughs> these road trips are fun they're <laughs> scary they're dangerous but they are fun i i, I agree with you know? yeah. with all of that i have a blast <laughs> doing it but it's you don't know what's going to happen and sometimes it can be pretty sketchy in fact most of the time so far it has been very sketchy getting home but today we're going to start this video off with i i hesitate to call it a mustang i I mean, it has to be because there's a picture. <laughs> oh, okay. but other than that, what what Mustang esque is there? It's a four door. It it it's so not a Mustang. Now, if they had called it a Ford Mach E, I like yes. that. I like that. Uh, you know what would have been better if they called it Mach E, not Mach -E. Mach E. Mach E. If you're a Star Trek geek like I am, let me give you a history lesson. The Mach E were a rebel group of soldiers that were going up against the Federation. Oh. This is Star Trek. Okay. Okay, this is actually Star Trek Voyager. Uh-huh. Um, but anyway, yeah, no, enough of that. I think calling it a Maki would have been really cool. It's a cool name. Mustang, this does not represent a Mustang in any sense of what a Mustang has ever been. But it is what it is. I digress. Uh, they, 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 so many people are fighting about that still. It's a Mustang. It's not a Mustang. It, it is what it is. Ford called it a Mustang, so we'll call it a Mustang. This is brand new. It's got 136 miles on the odometer. Oh, my stomach is stuck in the mirrors. <sighs> <laughs> We've been eating really we, good out here. <laughs> the yeah. food, the food in Los Angeles. It's not like Oklahoma. There is so we, much to choose from. We couldn't get between the cars. Maybe we shouldn't live here. Yeah, because uh, I'm only going to get bigger the longer I'm here. I promise you. <laughs> I, I'm going to gain a lot of weight out here. The cars are really close together. I've never seen one of these in person. Have you? Never. No? First Ever. time hands on. Yeah. So now we can get in. Oh, look at that stitching on the seat. Oh, man. It's still got the airbag sticker. Oh, wait, I thought that smelled good. That smells electrical. That, that smells not... funky weird. Yeah, it's not this my pants, a... is it? This was not a, <laughs> look, 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 look. <gasps> I'm not gonna do it. Wow. I can't bring myself to do it. I did kind of do it, but I'm not but gonna they... do it. That one's gone already. Yeah, they took that off. Should we start it up? Yeah. Let's hear it. those ponies roar. Doo doo doo. Check brake system, parking brake off. Well, that's fine. I don't want to use the parking brake. Service advanced track. She's got lots of juice too. Collision assist not available. Pedestrian surround fault. Okay, boy, this thing is, she's all kinds of pissed off. Wow, that's different. Okay. Wow, I, that screen is huge. That's that's amazing. Um, how do you get to the climate control? It's a little glitchy, dude. Yeah. It's a little. Sorry, I'm used to a Tesla where it's kind of you push something, it's done. This is a little, little on the glitchy side. There we go. I mean, it's yeah. Okay. There we go. Maybe it's just booting up. It was just booting up. I'm assuming that takes you to the car. Whisper mode, unbridled. <laughs> Good word. Ooh. Let's see what that means. Exhilarating drive, machine and road, align as one. 
That's the one we want. Unbridled. We got it. Dry. Oh, not available. Why is your rear windshield wiper uh, going? Oh, there you go. Okay. I think. No, I don't know. Oh, that's the front uh, one. <laughs> there we go. So it won't let you do unbridled. Not available. Why? Well, that sucks. One pedal drive. Mm -hmm. Is it going to let me do that? No? No <laughs> way. That's wow. a great car. Man, nothing works. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, nothing is available. Everything is broken. One pedal drive not available. Okay. Well, oh, man. What is... It's not wrecked up front, is it? No. I didn't think the so. The damage is in the back. Look at this. Is it on? Yeah, it's it. Or yeah, it says ready. Go try to back it up. Oh, I'm thinking like Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing Fords here. Here, here right oh. there. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. He'll teach you how to drive it. Ooh, bird's eye view. Okay. Boy, that steering is bad. Yeah. That is rough. Okay. This thing feels weird. I'm propulsion sound. Okay, that's an option we can have. Aside from that, it doesn't give you it doesn't give you that damn thing is back on again. I don't know. Here, Let's... It's this guy right there on the end. Oh, there. okay. I think. Yeah, it's decent. Here's the door handle here. That's different. Okay. It, I need to turn it off, I suppose. There we go. I don't like that sound. I don't like any of them. I almost bought one. Wow. I almost bought one. And I'm here to tell you, I don't like it. I thought I was gonna love it. Oh, I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't buy one. I mean, you should never, you should never buy a vehicle, especially a new type of vehicle without looking. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's wrecked in the back. I forgot about that. <laughs> it does have a little whoop de doo back here. I'm guessing some wiring may have got damaged back here. But, I mean, the rest of it looks fine. And I think they're selling this for $25. Really? It's, it's really inexpensive. It's... It looks like it's made of nice quality materials. I don't know why that steering feels so... Like, surely that can't be the normal steering because that is too tight it's not a flood car and it just took a hit in the back that's it it took a hit in the back and they totaled it and i thought i was gonna like it a lot more are the dinging and stuff in there those sounds are annoying the, the crickets and the chirp and the yeah yeah, yeah I, I i don't care for it. to each their own i mean no disrespect and no offense to anybody that has one and, and loves it uh, that's great for you just personally i am very turned off by this car <laughs> like it makes me not ever want to see one again so now i know and you don't have to worry about ever seeing one of these on the channel <laughs> i'm just not going to do it what about you you ever going to go out and buy you one of these not not this one no. no no okay moving on to the next one next on my list we got a 1997 Mercedes-Benz E420. And I think I think Mike White might want to drive this over a Panamera. So you I know had what, one in Atlanta. Did you like it? I loved it. Do you know what the price is on this one? No, how much? Two grand. Oh really? Yeah. Is that too much? That's you think? a lot, I would think. It's a lot? Yeah. For an E-class? Yeah. Well, but look at the wheels. It's got oh. Anella wheels. Those, Those have got to be worth two grand by themselves, right? Probably so. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's got good tires. How much you want to bet those tires are probably finance? The wheels and tires are probably finance. There's somebody out there currently looking to repo those wheels. I guarantee it. The wheels and tires look too damn good. They yeah. look brand new. Yeah. Yeah. An, an E420. I've never had one of these. I've had this generation E-Class, but they've always been a 320. Mm -hmm. And didn't you say the 420 was only... I think it was only one year, and then they went to the 430. Okay. Yeah, so the so engine's just a little weird. This and then is they a rare a car. This is very... You know, it's, it's rare. 
but in this yard oh okay it just it doesn't do it for it you it doesn't have the same pizzazz yes the same appeal yes the same sex appeal is what it is i know <laughs> well they're great cars though you are just not humble enough unlike me i'm <laughs> I drove, oh. I drove a car that cost me $275 to your house. So, yeah. Uh, I that's am. true, you did. It, it's, that's true. You <laughs> and did it got that. me there. <laughs> oh, it smells like perfume. Incense. Or ass. I, oh. What is it? Incense or ass? I think it's ass covered with incense. Woo! <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's got a yeah. a little flare. Two grand, maybe a little, a little much. You never see the wood in that condition, though. Look, it's not cracked. Yeah, it's cracked right there. Oh, is it? A little. Oh, but look right here. See, this is what yeah. These cracks. are always busted. Yeah. And these usually have spider web cracks mm -hmm. like all over. Mm -hmm. This is in very good shape. She's dead as a doornail. She's a little, you know, she's a little rough. She is. A, oh, there's the. What's that? Just Wait. another. How many keys you get with this car? Three, four, four. How does that happen? Four. In a Mercedes. Ooh. Okay, now I'm interested. Oh. Okay. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see what she looks like under the hood here. Oh, good Lord, have mercy. Here, I got it. <clears throat> well. There you go. What are all those lines there? Aromatic stuff or something? Vacuum lines for vacuum. like the door locks and everything. Oh, uh -huh. Stupidest idea ever. Let's let's make the door locks vacuum operated. Yeah. Got a new belt. The oil looks really good. Yeah. Okay. So it's got nice oil. It's got a brand new continental belt. Somebody was trying to take care of it. Is there a jump point? Yeah, there is. There is. Boy, Mercedes is just... They're killing it today. I'm thinking this is way better than that Panamera we were looking at. They're going to be watching these videos. These videos are going to come out every day. I got to stop talking about it because they probably already will have seen the whole video. Right. And they're going to be like, I wish this guy would stop talking. Enough of the Panamera. Yeah, no more. No more. We're done. Where do you... Okay, I'll figure the ground out later. The, the, the positive is what's important. Right. We can throw the negative anywhere. There we go. Let's, uh... Under here somewhere? They're right there. Where? That's your ground, right there. Oh my goodness. If it'll fit, there you go. If it don't fit, I'll make it fit. <laughs> All right. Let's see what she does. I expect a perfectly good running car. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Power steering is nice. Brakes. Window kind of works. No instrument cluster at all. No what? Cluster. No gauges, nothing. Oh. None. Oh. Probably just a fuse, right? It's a a fuse. fuse or just, it's just a big plug back there. Yeah, Maybe they just, just unplugged it all. Yeah, it's probably just a fuse. The Air conditioning. Sounds great. What? In God's that would be a fan. Name was that? It's one of your fans right here. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. Let's turn that off. How do you turn it off? I'll turn that off. <laughs> we just won't. We won't. Oh boy. I turned it off. I here. Now do it. I fixed it. Oh, he fixed it. Okay, let's try it again. That sounds awful. It was hitting the horn. I'm just going to leave it alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, $2,000. I think, I think. Yeah, I turn. it's not even on anymore. I turned the, the the fans off. It's still... It must think you're trying to use the air conditioner. Yeah, I'm... I'm... I'm I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to mess with this one, guys. Let's pop the trunk, though. 
yeah. Uh, I gotta be honest, like for two grand, no, not a chance, not a chance. I still think it's an interesting car though. Uh, but, oh wow. Well, there's the dash mat. It's stuck to the trunk. <laughs> it, honestly, this car is kind of ratted out. Oh, that's a different oh. wheel. That looks expensive too. I don't know. It looks like someone went around picking wheels. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I was hoping this car would have been a little nicer than it turned out to be. You know, that's the way it goes sometimes. That's the way the cookie crumbles. It, uh, it's not nearly as nice. As it. Come on now. Okay, just let me, let a professional do let, this. Let a pro do it. All yeah, right. There we go. All right. I like the car. I like this generation, because I really do. The only thing I don't like about them is Hyundai came out with that XG35926709211. Oh, that copy. And, and they made, I think by what they intended to do was make Hyundai look expensive. What they actually did is they made Mercedes look cheap. <laughs> People are like, wait a minute. If you That's owned one horrible. of these, you looked at that Hyundai and were like, wait a minute. I could have just bought a Hyundai. Yeah. I could have just bought a Hyundai. Yep. And it would have been more reliable and cheaper. Well, Hyundai <laughs> back then, maybe not. I yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Either way, we're done with this one. Let's move on to the last one. Last on my list. I know you see a Porsche over there. Don't worry. We'll get to that. I wanted to compare. It was actually Mike's idea. <laughs> that that nasty old E420 20. 20 yep. to a much newer 2017 Mercedes-Benz E300. I believe this is a 4Matic as well. I rented one of these when I was in Washington and I absolutely fell in love. Yeah, 4Matic. I fell in love with this car. We will, in another video, look at the 911. I promise. That's a 2020 Carrera. These are great cars. They run smooth. They handle phenomenal. Even around corners, wet roads. I drove it through the mountains and I loved it. Very comfortable. Very luxurious interior, which is what you would expect from a Mercedes. Let's smell. No, that's a flood car. Mm. That's a flood car. I know that smell. I know, I know that smell. That's a flood car. It'll clear your um, nostrils. Well, that's a boy. That smell. That smell almost gives me an instant headache. It's it's real bad. Is this one of those New Jersey? Yeah. What's doesn't say. Oh, okay. Doesn't say. It's from New Jersey. Same area as New York. I know exactly why this is here. It's supposed to be a run and drive though. So let's see. But does it have power? No, it doesn't have power. I wonder what the price is on this. Would you buy? A car like this that was a flood would you consider i would it? buy almost anything oh yeah. okay the price was right yeah well let's let's look i am curious as to what this one is worth uh-oh where's the there it is i mean it's relatively new yeah wait that's a four banger mike when did the E300 become a four-cylinder? It's a turbo four. You can see the charge well, pipe down yep. there. Oh, that's a that's a letdown. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I like I like anything more than four cylinders. Yeah. I like V6s. I love V8s. Um, I didn't know these were four cylinders. I feel bad now. I, I loved. Okay, the fact of the matter is, is I loved the car before I knew what it was. So I guess that means I have to continue loving it now that I know what it really is. Well, let's put a jump on it. Let's see what she does. I don't even... Yeah, I guess that's right. All right, there. Oh, oh, lights are oh, on. Oh, oh, oh. Did it have a price on there, on the sheet? I couldn't find it on the sheet. It may... Uh, 842... It'll be on the second page. Let's fire it up. Oh, not again. Not another one. Nothing. Nothing. The ambient lights are lit up. But nothing. 
So how much would this beast cost? 18. Buy 18. it now. Except nothing. Nothing works. Again. You seeing a theme wow. here? Wow. Yes, there are people they get really angry and they think that Copart is to blame. Yeah. For uh, for listing cars incorrectly. And I'm here to tell you, especially with flood cars, especially with flood cars, these things probably ran just fine when they brought them in. But like I said a million times already, that corrosion starts setting in and it's over. Mm -hmm. It's done. You got to be very careful buying flood cars. I mean, you may drive it home and you may be just the happiest person in the whole world for a day or <laughs> a week. And then one day you get up and, well, suddenly you find out your car don't run anymore. And I'm telling you, salt water damage particularly. Oh, that's the worst. Uh, that's bad. Fresh water, I don't mind so much. Yeah, it's that salt. Uh -huh. But that salt water, did. I just, personally, I don't think I would buy a salt water flood car, period. I don't. That's it, guys. Short, sweet, to the point. We're done. So do me a favor. If you enjoyed the content, go on over to this guy's channel, Monkey Wrench Mike. He took the time out to come out in this gloomy weather. Uh, gloomy. Thousands of miles from home. We're loving it out here. <laughs> yeah, we are loving it. It's nice. <laughs> it's, uh, don't let the sky fool you guys. It's beautiful weather out here. <laughs> go subscribe to Monkey Wrench Mike on YouTube. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. I would truly appreciate it. Stay safe out there, buddy. I got to go. We look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.